we're going to revisit the consistent character process one more time. I found a foolproof way for you guys to get the same character generated from scene to scene. We're going to be using Midjourney, specifically their new create engine in the browser. So we no longer need Discord. It's a lot less complicated and pretty easy to use right in here. We're getting this consistent character process from user Veil of Virtue. And it started with a Reddit post that looked like this. So this is his consistent character. You see her in scene to scene, talking to a frog, looking at a fish, eating an apple on a beach. And if you scroll down into the comments, this user Dicemonger summarizes the right process pretty well. I'm going to add a little spin to it near the end. But basically what we're going to do is create a character sheet of the character at an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. And if you're wondering what a character sheet is, in animation or video game design, a character sheet kind of looks like this. So you have a main character that's shown from different angles. If you went more in depth, they have written descriptions about the character. So other illustrators can recreate this character throughout the animation. Here's a good example. We have this female character looking to the left. There's a side profile from the back and somewhere in between. A perfect character sheet would go all the way around, even looking from the right side and directly from the front. If you don't get a sheet that is consistent and that looks like the character, just keep returning back to one. Split the image into multiple images using your image editing software of choice. That could be something like Photoshop or a free version like Photopea. Each image should contain the character once. So if you got a character sheet with the character from four different angles, you can split it into four different images. Now you can add those images to the prompt of future images with dash dash CREF. This will make Midjourney try to create a character that looks like your reference image. Later on in this comment thread, the OP Veil of Virtue, he dropped a YouTube video of his process and he did go a bit deeper. So I'm going to take a little from that previous user. I'm going to take a little from him and I'm going to add my own spice at the end to create what I think is a pretty good example of consistent characters. This is going to be perfect if you're designing a children's book, a graphic novel, social media posts, comic books, stories, and maybe sometime in the future video games. Okay, here I am on midjourney.com. First, if you don't have a subscription already, click your profile in the bottom left corner, go to manage subscription, and you're going to need at least the basic plan. I've never had anything other than the basic plan. It's currently $10 per month, and they say you get roughly 200 generations per month. If you're going to be designing a lot of books or taking on a larger project, you might need more generations. But just to start, the basic plan should do. Okay, you're going to go to create. And before you had to create in Discord. So you would invite the Midjourney bot to your Discord server and then prompt it a bunch of special codes. But as of recently, Midjourney released the create tab and you can do it all within the browser. Let's start with a character sheet like that Reddit user told us. I'm going to go into the settings here. We are going to choose landscape. That should give us the 16 by 9. Then in the version, we're going to scroll down and select Niji 6. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But this is a fine-tuned model for animations and illustrations. If you're going to try this with human pictures, this probably wouldn't work. But I'm creating a children's book. So we want the Niji 6. Then I can close these settings. Next, I need to find a style of image that I like. And I searched around a bit on Google and I found this style. So this is something like I'm envisioning for the children's book. It's very colorful. It's very playful. It looks like it's drawn with crayon. I'm going to right click, save image as, save it to my computer, go back into Midjourney, click on this upload image icon. I'm going to choose a file. Let's choose the illustration style of choice. Open it. I'm going to click on this image and then hover over the image and select use as a style reference. So let's click this back on Reddit. I'm going to copy this prompt, paste it in. And now let's describe the character that we're looking for. Let's write 
bald eagle with muscles. Don't ask me why I'm thinking of this. Let's just go ahead with it. Send it in. And here is the result. Remember, this is the style that we were generating with. And these are some of the results. I'm going to say I love this. This is the exact style that I was looking for. This is not the character I envision, though. Something more like this. And even this one could work. Once you've gotten the character sheet that you want, so I like this character right here, I'm going to click on Editor, click on the Erase option, and I'm going to erase most of the upper body. You could also do the head too, something like this. We're keeping the bottom part so that Mid Journey knows it's the same character. And in the Edit Prompt, I'm going to write a bald eagle with muscles eating an apple. Let's submit it. And here is the result. So it's not bad. I see that we lost the collar, but I could definitely pass this off as the same character. You may want to rerun it a few times or also get some images like this. I tried it the way the Reddit user suggested by remaking the prompt with this image as the style reference and then uploading cutout versions of my character as the character reference. This is what Mid Journey wants us to do. But again, the results aren't quite there. You'll have to run them multiple times to get something that's usable. Like this one's pretty good, but where did this wing come from? We also have this one. Now he's wearing a long sleeve shirt. But at least with this method, you can get the closest result. And now we can start putting this character in a scene. So I'm going to upload the style reference again. I'm going to type in a bowling alley. Let's hit enter. Okay, we have this one right here. We can download this image, open it in something like Photo P. I'm also going to open my character image and then I'm going to go like this, delete all of the background. Let's delete some of these background images, these flowers, just cleaning up the background shadow. There we go. Let's get the smallest parts. I'm going to take the lasso tool and let's draw around this character on the right. Let's cut him out and paste him into the bowling alley. I'm going to go to edit, transform, scale. Let's scale him down so it looks more realistic. Here it almost looks like he's bowling an apple. And there we go. That's a pretty good scene in a children's book. We have our character eating an apple in a bowling alley. Let's try this process one more time for one more scene. I'm going to go to editor. Let's erase the face of this image and let's change it to wearing glasses. Let's hit submit and we have a few options. We have this one. Look at these shades, super cool. I don't like the nose on this one. This one looks the best in my opinion. I'm gonna take this image, download it. Let's upload it in a new prompt. Click to add, make it the style reference. I'm gonna write school classroom, no students. Okay, I like this one. Let's download this. We'll do the same thing in Photo P, open up the classroom. Let's download our bald eagle with glasses. Open this up. We're going to do the same thing. This time for the left image. Let's delete all this blue background. It'd be much easier if the background was white. Maybe that's something to try in your image prompts when you prompt for the character sheet. I'm going to take the lasso. Let's lasso around this character. Cut him out. Paste him into the school. Again, edit, transform, scale. Scale him down so the proportions are right with the room. And then you get something like this. And I could see a scene in the book. Here the bald eagle hates school. Look at his grumpy face. If you're looking to run a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your business or company, check out the web app that I'm building live on this YouTube channel. It's called YourAIAgent.com. I have a bunch of videos in a playlist. We have agents that do auto blogging, chat bots, email support, Reddit bots, LinkedIn bots, Twitter bots, and YouTube responders with new agents being added each week. If you're interested, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you want to learn how to build your own custom AI agents and maybe turn it into a profitable web app, check out the online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. Maybe a good idea is to create consistent characters for users so that they don't have to use something like Midjourney. You handle all of the prompting in the back end. 
you give them style options, character reference options, and then you give them the results that they want. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.